Good morning, uh, friends. Good morning. Good to see you on a Wednesday morning. This is my third week that I'm doing this and just had felt this on my heart for a while for those that are tuning in for the first time. Just felt to do a short little devotional, a midweek midweek connection, a midweek touching base, a midweek encouragement for all of us. Hopefully you got your cup of coffee and we're just going to spend a few minutes together um, looking to Jesus and seeing what he has uh, for us this morning. And as I, as I was thinking about this morning and wondering what is on his heart for us, um, firstly, the pattern that I want to go through uh, these mornings is focusing firstly on worship then the word and then prayer and that's kind of how I do my morning devotions except I'm giving you just the shortened version of what I do every morning is spend time in worship and just listening to worship songs then reading the word and I use I've said this before I use uh, I love using the tool of U, the U version app and also soak stream I love uh, soak stream on YouTube for the prayer time so yeah, there's different tools that, that I use. But my thoughts this morning around the word storm. And I had a, a friend whose niece passed away suddenly two nights ago. And, and we, hear, we hear these stories around us where suddenly you're in a storm and suddenly something shifts and suddenly something happens. And so that got me thinking about storms, how sometimes there is the suddenly um, sometimes a storm, you can see it coming at long ways in the distance and sometimes it looks totally ominous and it turns out to be not that bad. And other times it doesn't look like it's a big storm and it turns out to be a big storm. And so storms um, are a part of our lives in most parts of the world. There's there's some sort of weather storm. And in, in the application to our everyday life is also we are in life storms and so our anchor being Jesus and also uh, as he is our anchor so we will with him be able to go through the storms of life and uh, also that took me to that story in the bible the wise man built his house upon the rock the foolish man builds his house upon the sand and so where is your, where is our foundation, you know, and I think it's a continual bringing back to the foundation of Jesus because we are all prone in our humanness to anxieties and fears that want to come in various ways. And so for us to take those thoughts captive, as it talks about in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, that those thoughts of worry and fear, we bring them to the cross and we give them to Jesus and we say, Lord, thank you for the exchange Thank you that you took those things to the cross so that we can live in the victory that he has for us. And so whatever your storm is today, um, your anchor, your foundation is Jesus. And so let's just worship together um, and then uh, worship together with a couple of songs and then uh, read the word together and then pray. Jesus, thank you for this morning. We just give you this short time of connection and i thank you lord for for each person each of my friends tuning in this morning whether it's live or later on i thank you that your word is alive and active and jesus we invite you into our spaces this morning this is a good old hymn talking about will your anchor hold will your anchor hold in the storms of a life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife, when the strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or firm remain? We have an anchor that keeps this soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll, fastened to the rock. Will your eyes behold to the morning light, the city of gold and the harbor bright? Will you anchor safe by the heavenly shore when life storms are past forevermore? We have an anchor that keeps this soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fasten to the Savior. 
Yeah, Lord, and we look to your word uh, this morning, the power of your word, your word alive and active. Hebrews 6, verse 19, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure, our foundation. He is our hope. He is the anchor for our soul. And our soul is our mind, will, and emotions, and so... This morning, whatever you are facing, he is the anchor for your soul. He is your firm foundation. Reading a blessing from Susie Larson is called Peace to Your Storm. May Jesus speak peace to your soul and calm to your storm. May you sense his nearness even when the winds blow. May you know his joy and strength from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. May the hope he stirs in your heart cause you to live with a holy expectancy and trust that this storm too shall pass. And in the days ahead, may his very real love for you compel you to dance in the rain before the sun breaks through. Jesus goes before you, he's got your back. He's there just around the bend. He will never ever forsake you. Trust him today. And from the book of Mark chapter four, verse 39 says, he got up, he rebuked the wind and he said to the waves, quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. Jesus, thank you that you are our firm foundation. And you know right now, you know right now where my friends need your touch. And God, thank you that you do speak peace to our storms. And we build our lives upon your foundation. You, Jesus, are our foundation. And we go into this day, Lord, encouraged to lean into you, to build our lives upon you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness in each of our stories. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Jesus, the name. Oh, 
God bless you, each one of you. Here's a big hug for you. I pray that you have a wonderful day and uh, a great rest of your week. And shalom, which means abundance of peace. The word shalom, abundance of peace to your day today. Love you lots. Bye-bye.